I recently watched a Napoleon movie, which has been getting bad reviews lately. So I wanted to review it personally and tell you what I think. So sit back, relax, and think you're so cool for having boats, and let's get into it. One minute history. I personally really like Napoleon as a historical figure. I mean, just take one look at my YouTube channel face, but I promise not to be biased, even though he's really great. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So the bad reviews say that the story is not actually about um, the brave and heroic general, but actually about his love life with Empress Josephine. I really do think the movie started off good, with a dramatic entrance into the French Revolution and the execution of Marie Antoinette and Robespierre. And I was drinking the Kool-Aid when Napoleon led the French troops at Toulon. But then the reviews started to come clear, and it was annoying seeing no battles and just Napoleon's love life. Then, when the Battle of Egypt came on, the worst thing happened. It had an inaccuracy! It said that Napoleon left Egypt to deal with his wife, but he actually left because Lord Nelson came down and wrecked his fleet, and he lost major battles. Another bad thing is that they did not show Napoleon crossing the Alps, which is like the most famous painting picture of him in the world. What really annoyed me is that after that, there was another 30 minutes until we got to the scene that really made up for it. The Battle of Auerstedt, where shot on the ice and defeated, Russian and Austrian armies surrendered. And then more love life, but when the, when the war in Russia happened, it was stunning, especially when Moscow was lit on fire. The return from elbows was extremely cool, and I really much enjoyed, because there was not much love life after that. And then the saddest part of the movie happened. No, not when Josephine died, but Waterloo. But I really did enjoy when Napoleon was pointing at a map and said, We'll strike the British here! and hits Waterloo on the map. I got chills. Whoa. So overall, I think this movie is underrated and is very well made. But why did they say melancholy like seven times? I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye and have a good one. Unlike every horse in the movie. P.S. 100 subscribers special will be coming out in sometime around February. It's for kids. Have a good one.